owner of a school, a tutorial center owner, a math teacher, and an author of 21 math books. Some of my recent books are the following. College Entrance Reviewer Book 1, College Entrance Reviewer Book 2, Core Concepts High School Entrance Reviewer. This book can be used for any high school entrance preparation in any school, but you can use it also for science high schools like Philippine Science High School, Makati Science High School, Marikina Science High School, and any science high school because I made sure that the exercises here in math were really of depth and they are fit for any high school, especially the science high schools. We also have here PSHS Reviewer Volume 3 and Volume 4. Okay. You can buy them online. My channel is all about math tutorials. I will be discussing some mathematics lessons, exercises, sample exam questions, which will help you for your high school entrance exam review, for your college entrance exam review, for your SAT, and for your ordinary math classes. So, shall we start? Click the subscribe button and go, go, go! Good morning, welcome to my channel. Today's lesson is linear equations in one variable. These are lessons that also appear in any high school entrance exam or any college entrance exam and also in your ordinary math lessons. We will be solving for the value of x or the solution set or the values of x that will make the equation true. Okay, so number one, if you're given an equation like this, all you have to do is to transpose A to the other side. So this plus A, when transposed to the other side, will become negative A. So you'll have it here as 15 minus A. Again, for the second time, whenever you transpose a term to the other side, you have to change the sign of that term. So in this case, the plus A becomes negative A. And proceed, x is equal to 15 minus 8 is 7. So, if your teacher asks you to solve for the solution set, all you have to do is to put it in the set notation, and then you write here, x is equal to 7. Now, let me explain to you why, whenever you transpose to the other side, you change the sign, you set. Because, if you have x plus 8 is equal to 15, in the long way, by using the addition property of equality, we should be adding a negative a. So x plus a plus negative a equals 15 plus negative a. Now, take note that this, that this is also the same as x plus 0 is equal to 15 minus a. That's it. x plus 0 is x equals 7. See? You'll get the same answer. So instead of adding a negative 8 to both sides, you can just transpose this to the other side by changing the sign. Let's move on to the next one. So if we have x minus 3 equals 2L, and we're using transposition, so what do we do? We transpose negative 3 to the other side, so we copy x, you'll have 12 plus 3. They know the negative 3 when transposed to the other side becomes positive 3. So now we have x is equal to 15. And if your teacher asks you to solve or to write the solution set, you can simply write x is equal to 15. Now, some teachers may ask you to write it this way. x such that x is an element of r, where x is that's all right. Follow your teacher. Your teacher will be the one to check your paper, so you follow him or her. What about in the third example where x is being multiplied by 2? Take note in number 2. 3 is subtracted from x, but this time 2 is multiplied by x. In this case, you have to isolate x. How do we isolate? 
side of the equation are equal. In this case, in this case if you see that the left side and the right side of the equation are equal, you can say directly that the solution set is the set of all real numbers. Why? Why? Because the left side and the right side are already equal, meaning any, any real number that you substitute to x will make it correct. Take for example 0. Mm. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 6 is negative 6. Will still be equal to 0 minus 6. Any number that you apply, you think of any number, you substitute it here in x and you will see that the left side and the right side will always be equal. Because any real number will satisfy the given equation. Let's take for example, you didn't notice that. You didn't notice that the left side and the right side are equal. Then proceed. You can now copy to this, and then this one, transpose it to the left side, so it becomes minus 2x. Oh, copy negative 6, transpose negative 6 to the other side, it becomes plus 6. Then, what is 2x minus 2x? It is 0 equals 0. See, it is a true statement. So whenever you have a true statement in the end like this, you still end up with x as an element of any real number. Number 7. Distributive property again, distributive 3. We have here 3x. Plus 3 is equal to 3x minus 2. But they observe now. They are not equal. Let us say you didn't notice that. Proceed. 3x. Oh, transpose this to the other side. You change the sign. 3x equals negative 2. Transpose this to the other side. That is negative 3. What am I doing here? Combine all those elements or all those terms with x on one side and combine all those terms without x on the other side. That's what we're doing. So 3x minus 3x gives you 0 equals negative 2 minus 3 gives you negative 5. Are they equal? No. Okay. 0 equals negative 5 is a false statement. When you end up with a false statement, your solution set must be empty set. Okay? Empty set or null set. Meaning, no real number will satisfy the original equation. So, no value of x will satisfy the given equation or will make it true. Okay? I hope. I was really of help to your lesson or to your high school entrance exam and to your college entrance exam. You can practice doing them again and practice many as many exercises as possible in your book, in any of your college books or high school books or in any of your textbooks in classes. Now let's move on. Before ending with our Mrs. O's good life, and 